working to do all that we can to promote our New York breads. The New York Thoroughbred Breeders kicked off Showcase Day with a brunch at the historic breeding room. It's a salute to our breeders, our owners, every participant in the New York Bread program. Thanks to the work of New York Thoroughbred Breeders and the New York Thoroughbred Breeding Development Fund, what a more special way to kick off the afternoon and day of racing. One of the state's newer thoroughbred farms sponsored the event. 30 Year Farm is owned by Matt and Kirsten Essler. People ask us regularly, how do we come up with the name 30 Year Farm? And it's because we signed the contract to buy the farm on our 30th wedding anniversary. Matt Essler started coming to Saratoga as a kid and sold t-shirts there when he was helping to pay his way through college. Now, as a successful businessman and owner of Essler Holdings, he looks forward to making his racing and breeding ventures successful too. And yes, they do breed to New York stallions. American Revolution. It'll be a while before we see American Revolution runners at the spa, but Bookham Dano gave his sire, Buchero, a big push when he grabbed a grade one win on the undercard on Belmont Day. Buchero launched his stud career in Florida before moving to McMahon of Saratoga Thoroughbreds in 2024. But the owners looked at New York and said, we're missing all these stallion awards, we're missing the eligibility for our mares. So that's why he came to New York. While this event was a salute to all New York breeders, the race card that followed with 11 races for New York breads, including six stakes races, demonstrated the faith that Naira has in the future of New York breeding and racing. This is Tracy Egan for nybreads.com.